To know the number of testing sites for people who may have this virus are growing, but there are still a lot of limits on who exactly can pull right in to a drive up testing center. Lisa Balick is live in Tualatin tonight with more. Lisa? Well, you can't just roll in and roll down your window and expect to get tested right now. Why? There are just not enough test kits yet. This is today in Portland, where some of the hundreds of people are getting swabbed for the virus at drive up test centers in Oregon, operated by hospital organizations such as Providence, OHSU, and Kaiser. Drive through testing is a great way for patients to be able to be tested without um, having to go into a clinic. It's a relatively simple test. People don't need to get out of their car, and it's just a nasal swab. But in fact, there are restrictions, starting with needing a prescription for a test from a doctor who is affiliated with that testing site, such as being a Providence patient if you're at a Providence testing location. You'll also need an appointment at most of the sites. Providence says it's tested more than 300 people and caregivers at their two drive through sites in the Portland area. First responders with symptoms are also being tested at the drive-in locations. Hospitals, of course, are testing patients in the emergency room and other hospital areas if they determine the symptoms would indicate the need. The Oregon Health Authority says while commercial labs can process thousands of tests a week, there is still a problem here getting the test kits from the federal government to be able to gather samples and send them to those labs. Meanwhile, one of the biggest changes underway is coming from telemedicine. Doctors' offices are scaling up their virtual office visits to be able to diagnose through online whether you should be tested. OHSU says it's done more than 1,600 telehealth visits now compared to about just 350 in January. Now, again, this problem with not enough test kits is really creating a problem because you're not supposed to go to the emergency room unless you are having severe breathing difficulties or really in an emergency situation. And the problem is, as we've been telling you all week long, is that people even with minor symptoms are still able to spread the virus. So without having a test, they won't know if they've got it or not. Live in Tualatin, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. That is important information. Lisa, thank you.